Ma me vana se ma Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV die o se dem yopo. Say my issue is simple. Right. What legal backing has this decision by the EC got? I'm not in doubt mm. that things change over time. Mm. But once it changes, you go and get a CI. That is if the CI doesn't cover it to enable mm. you to do what you're doing. Sure. Even in 2019, mm. you were expected to register a lesser number than your projection for 2023. Yet you deployed 1,500 registration centers. Three years on, you, your target is slightly higher than your 2019 target. Mm. Yet you deploy 268 registration centers. Mm. Who does that? But you see, from where the EC started from 268 registration centers, yes. right? Yes. And that's a mark improvement. Mark improvement. Improvement to the extent that yes. when in my in my constituency, yes. right, we have one machine. I mean, because it was a it's a municipality, yes. two constituencies. Yes. We had my, one machine both. Yes. As we speak now, there are two machines. The issue so the, the, the issue, issue here is about, is about proximity. Of, it the, is not the, about the, number the, of machines. The, 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 it's, yes, it is not. Bole, the, it is not about the Bamboy, number of centers, hold on. but it's about the Bole machines. to Bamboy is still over 120 kilometers. Whether you put 10 machines at Bole or not, it doesn't change mm -hmm. the fact that it's but, over 120 see, kilometers. Randy, what, what again the EC said yesterday was that there's going to be further provision. For what? It is not going to be the first time there's going to be mop up in areas that had unique challenges. There is going to also be continuous registration over five, six months after this exercise. So it is, it is not, so a I'm a Ghanaian. Of, not a case of I'm anybody a, being disenfranchised like turned, our brothers no, on the other side want us to be. No, I'm a Ghanaian. Oh, of course. I turned 18 in 2021, 2022, or 2023. Mm. There are district assembly elections coming up. Right. There could be, um, 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 how do you call it? Um, um, by elections. By elections. In fact, <laughs> if I were, if I were um, a citizen of. Um, uh, I seen north. Before I seen north. Uh, the one Nashanti. Kumeu. Or I seen north. And I turned 18 in 2021. Or 18 in 2022. Or I was out of the country in 2020. And I could not register. 2021, 2022. These by elections that came up in my constituency, I have not been given the opportunity to exercise my constitutional right by being registered as a voter. I mean, you're making a valid point. In this year, 2023, there could be by elections. In fact, there is a district assembly election. But there's not going to be any by elections. Well, I, I mean, touch wood. We'll touch it. <laughs> but there is going to be a district assembly election. Mm. And the EC is telling me that. Because they have plans of doing some continuous registration later on when a CI is passed or something, but you see, I shouldn't Randy, worry. It's no Randy, big deal. Randy, the, 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 EC... no, no, the point I'm trying to make is that, look, these institutions, these institutions are created by the Constitution mm -hmm. sure. to facilitate the enjoyment of the rights enshrined for citizens in the Constitution. Excellent. We should not tolerate it when they make it look as if it is their money. It is their, it is their, their, uh, uh, um, um, their family assets. They are doing somebody a favor. They decide when to open up and when not to open up. When to give somebody that right or privilege. I mean, we should not tolerate that. No, no, no. I, I agree. Nobody is doing anybody a favor. Nobody is doing anybody a favor. And those institutions are there to ensure, to ensure that what the, the, the provisions enshrined in our constitution are actually. <laughs> rolled out I mean for the benefit of every Ghanaian as as is guaranteed every Ghanaian who is of 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 voting age of sound mind has a right to be registered as a voter and to exercise that mandate it's, it's enshrined nobody's touching it but you see beyond that like I'm like I'm saying the EC has to go to Parliament every year just like any other institution to ensure that um, adequate resources are located for the program of the East in the ensuing year and that has been a practice. That's how the EC operates. So if the EC goes to Parliament with a particular program, and then because of a certain um, constraint down the line, 
there has to be a change. The EC has to work within a framework. Within a framework. And so when it happens like that, the EC just will have to be uh, bring some innovation. We'll have to be creative to ensure that within the constraints, as many as possible Ghanaians are giving them right and shrine under the constitution to be able to exercise their mandate at elections. And that's exactly what is happening now. Given where we were a week ago, given where we are today, given the constraints or the challenges that the EC had to start with, particularly with the failure of parliament to ensure the maturity of the CI that was going to ensure continuous registration. I think that there's marked improvement. We have at least two more weeks ahead of us. I am, I am looking forward to a, a day where I walk to the registration center and there will not be, not be any queues. Given also that the EC, the EC is led in all of this by data. The EC set out to register about 700,000 people over the 21 days. Already within six days, they have done about 180. It shows that they are on track, given where they want the, the, the objects of the exercise, given the, 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 the number that they set out to register. They are on track. And so, Randy, I think that what we need to do at this time is to support the institution of the EC and show that we, we as, as our stakeholders, we also facilitate the processes where we need to go to ensure a successful um, registration exercise. And then, I mean, the EC is proving that it's still taking feedback. It will, it, it's still engaging. It's still improving the processes. I, and, and I, I expect that. Look, as a party, as a, as, a, as a party, the new patriotic party, we're also working within the constraints. When you talk about distances from where people live to their registration, it's the same with us. We're also contending. But rather than spend our energy, we are trying to put our energies to facilitating the process, supporting the So, in, to when, ensure that so this, proud this to the 2016 out. elections, yeah. when you were holding the press conferences and hitting the streets mm. and all mm. that, mm. you did not know that this approach was also feasible. No, you see... When you were calling on the Peace Council, yeah, and and calling out a so-called peace industry, peace industry. Yes, okay. I can play that uh, presser for you. It Please was then held by your, your then national youth organizer, um, now DG for Lotus Samuel, mm. Mm. on mm. the electoral commission and all that. You see, uh, Randy, if if we keep going back like that, no, we are not right? going we're, back. We are not doing ourselves anything. In favor. fact, on Friday, we are not doing ourselves anything. On Friday, the honourable Kujia to a black one. Yeah. Even read out mm. Madame Jean Mensah's position mm. as the IEA executive director on hold on on a limited registration exercise, mm. which was done at six thousand mm. centers mm. over a two-week period. He read it out here copiously. Her views as the IEA executive director on I an mean, exercise. They, they, yes, on an exercise conducted by the. Same electoral commission, limited registration exercise at 6,000 centers mm. over a two week period. Mm. What has changed? You see, that, 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 that's, 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 that's the question we all have to ask ourselves. And if we keep going back that way, I don't think that we are going to do ourselves any favor. Because I can also sit here and say that mm. those who today are mm. complaining, mm. are complaining and find reason to, and, and today can give us distances within settlements and district offices. Mm -hmm. They were in this country in 2016. When what happened? When we had to go to the district offices to do our registration. 2016. 2016. Yes. I am telling you, I was a <laughs> candidate. And I keep telling you that in 2016, yes. whether it was limited, whether it was continuous, yes. I had to facilitate no, no, and ensure no, that no, children of voting no, age were transported no, from Akwetema no, to Kanesha no, to be able to register. Then, Nobody on. came into Puseni, the electoral register. Puseni, Puseni, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. From 2012, yeah. when we went biometric, mm. we have never had a limited voter registration exercise in less than 6,000 centers. Randy, Never. I am telling you, I am telling you the yes. case, you know, can't we know, when I was a parliamentary candidate yes. in 2016, we the, in which year? 26, I'm giving you. But we never had a limited registration exercise but in 2016. You see, that, that is a technicality. You, you, it's want, not. you want to say whether no, it's, it's not. limited, whether it's continuous, uh. whether it's continuous, it was the aim at every point in time is to update the existing Voters register. And I'm telling you that in 2016, yes. when we, I was a parliamentary candidate in Okakweno, yes. in Akwetema, yes. we had to ensure and facilitate that the qualified voters, or I mean the, 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 the young or the first time voters, yes. were transported physically from Akwetema to Kaneshi for them so, to be able to so register. My question is, 
what and those of, people who what, are shouting today, no, my question they didn't is, shout what today. What kind of exercise was that? Whether and, and my point, my point also was, is that whether it was limited registration, yeah. whether it was continuous registration, yes. it is updating of the existing voters register. No, but and we today know. we are hearing people measure this. No, but Fuseni, well, Fuseni, where, 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 where know, Fuseni, we all know. You see, that. Randy, I keep saying that. Fuseni, I don't want to. Fuseni, Fuseni, just hold on. We all know that a mass registration exercise mm. is different from a limited registration Certainly. exercise. A limited registration exercise is is different from a mop up yeah. a registration no, exercise. Sure. They are different. You do not ask for what is done during a mass registration exercise for a limited registration exercise. You do not ask for what is done for a mop up for a limited registration exercise. So to use that distinction, Randy, the distinction is that finish? beside the mass registration, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That comes right in our, our polling stations, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Every other exercise is aimed at updating an existing register. No, no. I'm saying that. Even even the mass registration exercise, yes. its intent is to update. update. update but they are different. That they, I'm saying like, that we all know. New data is taken. No, we. Yeah, in every, when it comes to mass, mass in, registration, in, in every um, what the point I'm making is that we know there's a mass registration exercise, mm. which is done in a lot of centres. We know there's a limited registration exercise. At least from when we went biometric in 2012, mm. we know that we've had it in 6,000 until. 2019, when we had it in 1,500. Proud to that. The limited registration exercises that we've had were at 6,000 centers. In 2019, 1,500. You see, Randy, Randy, I am telling you that yes. in 2016, yes. I was a parliamentary candidate. No, I know that. Yes. But and, we didn't have a limited time, voter registration exercise in 2016. Whether it was continuous, <laughs> whether it was more up. Yes. It was aimed at updating the register we had created for the 2012 elections. Yes. Yes. And at the time, at the time, yes. me, as a candidate, yes. I had to facilitate. Yes. Right? And yes. support the EC. Yes. By ensuring that qualified voters mm -hmm. from within my constituency mm -hmm. were transported mm -hmm. from Akutima, mm -hmm. Anumle, Nyebema, to Kanishi. Yes. And the people who today are shouting, right? Today, mm. in my constituency, mm. you don't have to go to Kanishi. It's right in Achimuta. In 2014, you had a limited registration exercise in your constituency. You were a parliamentary candidate in 2016. Yes. In 2014, yeah. the Electoral Commission had a limited registration exercise in your constituency. Okay. It was done in, at 6,000 centers in 2014. Given. <laughs> I, I am I am not going to debate on that. But I'm telling you that in twenty sixteen, yes. In twenty sixteen, the situation in my constituency was worse than it is today. Yeah, but that's how come next year, twenty twenty four. Yeah. If the it's going to be continuous. No, I'm saying if, if, if it gets a CIC. No, I'm saying if in twenty twenty four the AC were doing a mop up or a continuous mm. registration mm. and it's been done at their district centers, nobody will complain. Nobody will. If the AC is done a limited registration exercise in twenty twenty three. Mm -hmm. And they've done it in about 6,000 or 5,000 or whatever centers. And in 2024, they are doing a mop up or a continuous registration at their, uh, their district offices. Nobody will complain. Just like 2016. Nobody so, will complain. So my, my point this morning is that, Randy, if we keep looking back, it's always going to be back and forth. Because today, today, for me, those who are complaining, in 2016, they were in this country. And what they told us was that the EC had a mandate ah. under Article 45, and so we should leave the EC alone. We should leave the EC alone to do what they have to do under the Constitution. That was what we were told in 2016. The truth is that I was, I was in the demonstration for let my vote count. When we are calling for reforms in the EC. <laughs> you see, but let us not, when you're in opposition, is one time. When you come into power, it's one Let's move forward. My point is that. This is where we started off a week ago. Mm. The EC itself is shown from the engagement it did yesterday that it is ready to take feedback. It is ready to improve the process. It is ready to ensure that the rights guaranteed under the Constitution to every Ghanaian to be able to register and vote. So why didn't it take, why didn't it take and work with the feedback given to it by the parties at IPAC when it met the parties? And told them about this program, and the party said no. Do it this way. And he said Randy, that we'll Randy, get back you to know, you. I mean, Randy, you know, policies or programs, whatever. 
you can do plant on table mm. when you go to the field mm. reality sets in. Mm. then you have to take feedback then you have to improve your process and that's what AAC is doing and I think that look whatever was discussed in IPAC fine all well and good and people wanted to, some parties some stakeholders wanted to go to court mm. and all of that all well and good it's in their right and as a Ghanaian I support all of that but the good thing for me this morning mm. is that the AAC is still engaging from where we started in local Engaging the strangers, who? This is engaging The Ghanaian populace, explaining to us what is happening, telling us what they are putting in place to ensure that the challenges mm. that we are seeing, mm. Akatil, it mm. gave the case of the, what was transpired in Tamil. Mm. The first day, I mean, I, uh, Kit wasn't mm. operational. Subsequently, they have improved the number of stations in there. Subsequently, the numbers have improved significantly. Mm. And that is, that is a feedback, that's the engagement that I want. Mm. She went in to mention particular names of people who they are engaged. Mm. So for me, what I'm saying this morning is the EEC have moved away from where we started off about a week ago into a particular position. We are seeing the figures come up, um, the EEC is still on target, given where they started, where they are today, given what they set out to do. Let us support the EC. Let's give feedback and let's 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 get this program done. Mm. But as to the rights, I think every Ghanaian deserves a right given to every Ghanaian under the constitution, and the EC has a mandate to ensure that that right is is a suppression right. And that, that that is what I want to support. Uh, now, so far, so good. Say so open online portal at work Ghana. Ah, you can share, you can follow, you can comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I uh, append TV.